It was a very long time ago. The program is called uh, Virus Fighter. It's a uh, it's a game. There we go. Hit play. Well, first let me show you what it's doing. It's just a bunch of code. Anyway, there's some stuff here. Objects, some methods on the bottom right there left. And let's hit play. There we go. And there it goes. Make it a little louder. So, uh, the game is. So, a virus has been detected in the system, you must eliminate uh, the threat. Locate the source and disinfected, and I'll allow the virus to touch you three times, or you'll die. So all I have to do is just start. Enter. That loads your health. Well, not health, your... Um, I guess you, how far you are in the game. Top right. Your health is on the left. So you have three lives. And uh, you just hit forward to go. There we go. You shoot using the spacebar. goes all the way till you're at the end of the game. Now I'll show you what happens if I touch one of these guys. Oh, my health goes out. Interesting uh, function. One day I hope that Alice will support Oculus Rift, which is a uh, virtual reality um, toggle system. It would be very easy to modify this game for the uh, for the Trip because oh, I died. Because you all you would need is two windows open uh, with two different perspective cameras, and uh, one input from the keyboard would give you the uh, the ability uh, to control both of the windows. And because both of the windows are the same game but different camera perspectives for the user. Once he puts the Oculus Rift on and uses the uh, display as the Oculus Rift display, then he would be able to perceive uh, this specific game in full three dimensions. It's, uh, it's a neat trick that Alice should support. At least that's what I believe. But basically, um, that, that's all. Once you get to the end of the game, there's a, there's a thing you have to disinfect. This thing right here. You shoot it, and it becomes green, and it says mission accomplished. That's it. It's a simple game, but a very powerful statement, in my opinion.